What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We had an unfortunate 15 minute wait for this queue to fire, so here we are. We are going to avoid green and blue today. Maybe, maybe we take artifacts like cranial plating. That seems good, right? What if we build an artifact deck? Is that a thing? I don't know. Probably. <sighs> we could take Absan Valconer. That guy also seems very good. And white. Gave us a little bit of a shit, shit storm in the last draft, so I'll take the Falconer. <clears throat> All our creatures with counters on them get flying. Sure. I mean, that's basically unblockable in most limited formats. <laughs> and most constructed formats as well, I guess. Creatures with flight are not uh, super common. Um, Otherworldly Journey... Stormbreath Dragon seems pretty pretty juicy. Royal Spout seems pretty sweet. And Royal Spout actually <clears throat> makes a 4-4 four, four flyer if we have the Falconer out. <clears throat> I think it's either Royal Spout or Stormbreath Dragon. If a baby were president, there would be no taxes, there'd be no war, there'd be no government, and things could de get terrible. It actually, probably, it would be a better screenplay idea than a serious suggestion. Michael Scott. <clears throat> I'll take Stormbreath Dragon. I want to risk it for the biscuit here. I don't know what that means in this context. I don't know why I said that. Forgive me. Um, whenever you sack a permanent, put a counter on it. Crater Maker sacks a thing itself. Sack a creature, deal one damage to a creature. That creature can't block. Hmm. Hidden Dragon Slayer. Whenever one or more counters are placed on a permanent, you control, you may pay a one if you just choose to come pick. A stray animation module. Oh, Lightning Helix. <clears throat> Actually, High Sentinels of Arishin is friggin' insane. Gets 1-1 one, one for each other creature with a counter on it. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature. Yeah, we're taking this guy. Lightning Helix and Rift Bolt are great. Lightning Helix might come back because you have to be specifically in red, in red, white, and I'm not sure how many people are. Oh, Skargan Hellkite, huh? Look at this Creeping Tar Pit. These look great. <clears throat> I'm a big fan. Whenever this deals combat damage, I'll put, put a 1-1 counter on it. So it's literally just the red one. Except it doesn't have haste. And it does have modular. Oh, Aurelius seems good. Oh, Topin Freeblade just seems great. <clears throat> just a solid 2-drop. Gets a counter. Sentinel's ability is 4, yeah. Here I am, the guy who hasn't played MTG in like five years, and yet I'm watching Frank. Yeah, well, you know, you're welcome. I'm here for you. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, Tungsten Zephyr, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Mind Shrieker, thank you for the bits. I just, I just saw that now. Hopefully it's not too late to thank you. Hopefully we're not past the Rubicon. Whatever that means. Um, <clears throat> Ordeal of Perforos is great. Puts three counters on the thing. Yeah, I'll take an Ordeal.
Guys, don't forget to place your units and stream raiders. We got 27 allies right now. We can do better. Plus you took the Dragon Boys. It's true. Oh, you did say, oh, the bits were for Dragon 180 Dragon Boy bits. You're right, it all worked out. Back to back Dragon Boys. What's the hold up here? Uh, Lightwalker's a 2-1 that gets uh, flying as long as it has a counter on it. That seems fine. <laughs> my decline was from competitive standard and legacy commander to casual commander to f these people i'm just trying to have fun at the table i'm quitting yeah that is a decline all right <clears throat> well orcish vandal doesn't necessarily do anything for us We have like one artifact. I guess if we get a bunch of servos, I don't know. It's not exciting. <sighs> Beginning of your upkeep. Put a one counter on an artifact or put a charge counter on an artifact. Cre non creature artifact. Whatever, I'll just take rustic clashin. Cla clashin. Clashin. Much happier as a D and D dungeon master now. That's good to hear, though. It's good to find game a game that like you're actually not dreading playing. Like, there's definitely times like when I'm dreading playing Magic just because there's not a format I like, or there's not a cube up, or just like I, where I'm just like phoning it in. And whenever there's something like a format I really enjoy that's available, it's significantly different and and better. Oh, blood ass, blood ass pirate came came back. <sighs> oh, Valkyrie is not. Yeah, let's sort by convert man cost. That's a little better. <clears throat> uh, voracious Hydra, just because no one else should have it. Yeah, of course this is an open laning green. I I agree with you, completely. There's been some pretty great green cards, but of course. Uh, this is the one draft we 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 swore off green. Take a blood aspirin. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do what you think it does. Well, it is one sixteen here, so I'm probably not getting to bed till like four. So you might be in for some yawns, buddy. Um, Koth of the Hammer. Interesting. And Cind Lightning Helix did not come back, worth noting. Sigil of Distinction is very good. And Cindy Flow is pretty decent. Heroic Reinforcements is pretty solid. I think we're taking Heroic Reinforcements. And then if, like, History and Cindy Sigil come back, I'll be thrilled about that. But I think this, this card wins games. Vizier of Remedies. Hmm. This is a 7 1. Yeah, I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. Um. <clears throat> we don't really have a ton of ways to get counters on things. It might just be Vizier. I don't know. It's not exciting. I don't think history would be nice, but I think heroic reinforcements is better. Giving your whole team plus one plus one and haste uh, is very good. <clears throat> God, this 
pack is just not impressive at all. It's like Phantom. I'm going to take Vizier, I guess. I don't know. It's not very exciting. Rexy and Unlife. How fascinating. Whenever a creature dies, put a one counter on a creature. If a creature is a vampire, put two counters on it instead. These packs are just not good for us. I feel like we definitely picked the wrong draft to deliberately uh, choose not to draft green. Like maybe we just want the more aggressive creatures. Get two energy. Whenever it attacks, we pay two if you do we have one one servo. I'll just take the Kithian, I think. It could be a planeswalker one day. Uh Hero of Blade Hold is just bananas. I was going to take this rugged prairie, but I think Hero Blade holds too good. Basri Ket also might be good. I think Hero's too good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Plateau seems good. I don't care about Ication Javelineers. A Brave and Face Fetters are also very good. I think I like Face Fetters better than a Braid. And I don't care about fixing as much in a two-color deck. I mean, I'll still take them if they come back, but I, I also don't want to be short on removal like we were previously. Shade of Trocare. Triumph of Gerard seems good. <clears throat> put a 1-1, one, one, put a 1-1. One, one. Give them a bunch of things. I don't really care about Shade of Trocare. 1-2 for 4. Burrington Bombardier is fine. It reinforces for two. It's also 2-2 two, two for three with flying. Yeah, sure. Oh, Sigil came back. So did Incendiary Flow. Let's go with the flow. <laughs> go with the flow. Wow, that was not even intentional. That's terrible.
but I know that I knew them back then. Guys, our battle's ready in eight minutes. We have forty allies. I think we're I think we're doing better this time, but don't 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 sleep on it. Don't rest on your laurels. Phantom Nomad came back. Sure. Like, we have no proliferate, though. Maybe it's just... Maybe the Zektar Shrine is just better to deal with just, like, big chunks of damage. Which part is my laurels? <laughs> Buddy, if you don't know by now... I don't know what to tell you. Third Inspector coming back is pretty nice. So is Kitchen Finks, though. I'm gonna take the Finks. Especially because if we can get Heliod, it's a combo. <clears throat> Blood Esper can sack enchantments. That's super weird. Sack a creature or enchantment. A red card sacrificing enchantments is really weird. The Let's Play of that Steampunk game where you're the assassin with the mask. Uh. Duh. I can't think of the name either. Um, Dishonored. Was it Dishonored? <clears throat> yeah, Dishonored was great. I thought I had lawyers once. Turned out to be food poisoning. Tale as old as time, my friend tale as old as time the rugged prairie came back let's see that plateau give me that plateau back no okay I see well rugged prairie still fine I guess it doesn't let us cast soul scar or kithian on turn one yeah you're fine I guess rustic clutchin 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 path exile a johnny adversary of tyrants plus one to put a counter on two creatures is pretty good we could also return any of our million two drops yeah we're gonna take the ajani here remember when nobody could figure out if the robot voice was saying Laurel. Yaddy. Laurel. Yaddy. I do remember that. Swallow hole seems good. Tap an untapped creature. Exile tapped creature. Put a one encounter on the tapped creature. Laurel. Yaddy. Venerated Loxodon. That guy's juice. I mean, it's better than Hellspark and Stormblood Elemental, so... I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't give a shit about Gargadon. Guys, we have 49 allies in this battle, and it's, it's popping in four minutes. Don't rest on your on your Yannies or your Laurels. For those watching on YouTube, we're talking about Stream Raiders. I only ever heard Yanny. I thought people were just screwing with me. Turns out they weren't. They were just talking about my laurels. And my yannies. I'm gonna take Shatter Skull Charger. This guy seems fine. Plus there's like nothing else except for like a seal. Vizier doesn't do anything. Even Blood Aspirin's pretty unimpressive. I don't love Zektar Shrine. If I saw Loxo juice at the store, I'm not sure I want to take. What's Loxo juice? I don't even know what that means. Sometimes I feel like I say things and people make jokes about what I said, like it, 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 like they 
kind of twist it a little bit, but then I, I don't know what they're saying, so I, I forgot already. So, guys, I'm real tired. <laughs> I'm having a hard time like articulating my thoughts and things because I'm real tired. Um, so this would be a two-two, okay. Endless one's a big fat, fat daddy. Uh, whenever a creature control with a one-one counter attacks, tap a creature as a This is actually pretty good. I think we're just gonna go with the endless one for the flexibility, though. Heliod's punishment is cute. Anna Fenza seems actively good, though. Yeah, it was Seal, because it was a reference to the Seal of Cleansing that we that we passed. Baby, I can pay you to a kiss. 58 allies, and we got two minutes left. Oh, buddy. What is more juice? Daddy needs some more juice. Are you are you dead? Daddy needs some more juice. Wow, Michael B. Michael. Remove one one counter from a permanent you control deals two damage to any target. Lightning Servant Bettis one plus one plus one oh, plus O oh counters. I think we're just taking Basri Solidarity. Plus one plus one for all your guys. Oh or Yeah, I'm taking the solidarity. That's a nice solid trick. Daddy needs more juice. For each player, choose friend or foe. Okay, so I'll choose me as friend, them as foe. Put a one encounter on each creature. Control each foe chooses one untapped creature and then tap the rest. Actually, PNLR seems better. <clears throat> I'll take you. So you need two cuts again. Wow. <laughs> that seems ridiculous, and I don't even know what's going on with it. Daddy needs more juice. I want to take Gargadon out. I think it's just too cute. Maybe Soul Scar Mage, too. I don't think we're a Soul Scar Mage deck. Epic level one archer. Now we're talking. 51 seconds, guys. Let's do it. There's no way we lose this. Absolutely zero. Zero chance. That would be real sad. Neil, what kind of cheese did you get? It is time. Vintage cheddar and parmesan. Vintage? Is vintage a cheese by itself? Vintage cheese? I mean, I think this deck seems good. Vintage cheddar and tasty cheddar. These are the two cheddars. Oh, a recruiter can get endless one. That's kind of cute. There used to be a grand town alone on the sea. But you, oh you, I can't. <coughs> you. Remain a light on the dark side. This seems like a 523. <sighs> Ketchup and oregano. You guys are wild in Australia.
vintage cheeses brought to the second hand store only used once Yanni and Laurels oh man you guys are fantastic thanks for hanging out tonight I'll see you next time no, he's not going anywhere I'm just kidding just making sure we don't care about any of these other cards that we got in here I don't think we do nah we good I don't think I care about rustic clashing Five ten, huh? What about nine seven? So it's ten eight? Yeah, let's do ten eight. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's just uh hop into the battle time. This is fifteen creatures. Plus heroic, which is two creatures. I guess it's I mean it's one creature. And a Johnny can get back, like, and a Fenza, Topin Freeblade, Lightwalker. Yeah, that's true. The earlier you get in, the more units you can place in Stream Raiders because you will have more cooldowns. Anna Fenza into like yeah this is pretty good this hand looks good playing against Kangarooster 420 blaze it oh what a draw what an absolute banger do we just put Ordeal of Perforous on this Oh god, they're probably just gonna kill it. Everybody's got removal. Everybody's got something to hide except for me and my Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Double white. How does one unlock new units? I was wondering that myself. Uh, you have to go to... Um, can someone else explain it? You guys are able to easier, more easily access the client. Um, you have to go to army. And there's a bunch of locked stuff. Can someone also explain how to get... Um, oh, to do haste, but you did not attack. But you did not attack. Whenever a creature in Punk Shows dies, but it won't count on it. Second other creature can be indestructible. So, okay. So next turn we can have Johnny put two counters on these guys. Attack with both. For... And then they both get float. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. X1 and kind of smart creatures you control. Could also just play a Johnny. Next turn, play both of these. I kind of like that. And we'll just pass here. This guy becomes a 3 2 when he attacks, so we can easily block that. And next turn, we have Pia and Ordeal. Hmm. 
I don't know which creature is actually worth more. This guy giving flying to all our team is great. This guy putting a counter, I think I think it's actually I think the Falconer is a little more good. <laughs> a little more good. So I'm just assuming they have something. And it looks like they do 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 do. Okay. I mean this is still a trade. So that's fine. Yeah, that's a it's a two for a two for two, I guess, because they get to draw one card. But we just get to go Pia. Or deal with Perforos. Breeding pool. Four colors. Fascinating. Oh, we can also return Anafenza to the battlefield next turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, if that then they have three or more counters, this is fine. We'll just attack with this guy. Should have put a counter on this guy, then we can actually kill the Yeheni. I like reading the chat the way it is right now. What kind of Batman is best? Pee in my pants. Seems good. Guys, we only have 20 units on the battlefield. Come on, get it together. This is embarrassing. This is a this is a hard one, okay? I don't want your we don't need your little baby units here. Okay, bring the big guns or just stay home, okay? I'm just kidding. Don't stay home. We need all the help we can get. <clears throat> yeah, okay. That's that's good. I don't like that. Oh, puffin' stuff with the epic berserker. I don't know how you get the epic guys. That's what I don't understand. I'm very confused. Also, as the captain, I can only place one guy ever, right? I can't just add more guys, right? Uh, sacrifice another creature it gains indestructible. So if you want to trade your four four crawling barons, that's fine. Wow, that seems insane. Oh wow, who saw that guy coming? We're just gonna pass here. They have one card. Yeah, I think we can probably use a Johnny to really start taking over this game, but Yep, that's pretty good. Laurel. Yanny. Yeah, 
No attacks. Fascinating. That's interesting. Hmm. We can actually bring back a Kithian, tap the Kithian, put a counter on it. Coral. This is seven damage. Why isn't this working? Oh, it's an exile a tapped creature. I'm not smart. I am not a smart boy. So this is going to be a 3-4. We can block here and we can probably just chump. Uh, let's kill Soren. Like they can take two counters off this to give something neg one, neg one. Or neg two, neg two, rather, but. <sighs> but then it's a pretty unimpressive two, two, so. Yep, that's what we figured they were going to do with that. Sure. Both at a Johnny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't kill both. We can double block this guy and just kill it. And if they remove a counter, that's totally fine. They can also sack this guy, which keeps a Johnny alive. So, and we still get to draw something. That would be cool if we drew like a good card. Interesting. Okay, we get to keep a Johnny alive. Trade for the 2-3. 
And then we still get to exile this guy next turn. It's pretty good. I assume they kill us in response. There's no real like if we if we go to plus, they could just kill it in response. So, yep. Yep. I mean, having a Johnny with Kitchen Finks is a pretty sweet combo because you just get to keep putting counters on it. Guys, you guys, you guys wanna, you guys wanna get blown away? 2050 is as far away as 1990. How many units we got in this? How much skin we got in this game? 40? Gotta do better. We got 12 minutes. Is this game one round one? Oh god. I'm gonna be here forever. This is my life now. T -t -t Today, Junior. I'm gonna have two cards in hand. We have nine power on board. Okay, they ruin us path or Anafenza. Oh, that just kills them, right? He still gets haste, right? Seems good. Shatter skull up in this bush. <sighs> Alright. None of these cards look sideboard material. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want a game of this cube, buddy. You're telling me. He is learning. This ain't your daddy's AI program. I'll keep this. Kill our thing. Play our own thing. We can draw more things. Ooh, 
Ooh, they went to six. Guys, our odds are looking hot. Land is not what we wanted. But whenever you have five lands on Magic Online, you're always going to draw your sixth land because that's how randomization works. Really? Oh, you're going to play something. I got it. Bloodgast. Look at this weird ass Bloodgast art. More like Trash Gast. Got him. I am a ghast. A blood ghast. <laughs> oh, dang. Cruel Sadus be, be getting big. Life uh, finds a way. There are plants in this building that are poisonous. You chose them because they look good. Cool. Well. One, two, three. Not thrilled with the eight lands to three spells uh, ratio, but, you know. It's hard to win two games in a row, guys. You coming at me? And uh, here I am, uh, talking to myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely tremendous. Help itself. I mean, I got four lands in hand, so, you know. I fell into a burning ring of fire, but it takes me higher. Why is this taking so long? Wait, why slow roll it? Remember that guy? Seems good. they commit to memory at, at some point so we can get rid of our absolutely horrendous hand hmm see that's not great because then we get back to open free blade they kill it and they just attack a johnny so I guess we're just plussing a johnny I guess they're going to attack it for three next turn they kill the high guard. Maybe we get Topin for, I don't know. It's just, just kind of rough. 
the great flood of 2020 is is correct you ain't kidding cool murderous rider seems good seems good how do we have eight minutes more than you these plays have not been super complicated all right yeah yep so we're gonna take six next turn then they're gonna play murderous rider if they're gonna get two count they're gonna get a zombie yeah this is just terrible it's almost like when you draw 10 lands to four spells you just can't it's physically impossible to win a game of magic because you just don't get to play the game unless those four spells are really good which they were not Brew dude, have a good night, buddy. start calling you Noah yeah well all right guys two minutes until our until our battle we also haven't drawn like any of these cards watch there's gonna be like three five drops a four drop and three lands in our opening hand Why is this taking so long, dude? Come on. Jeez. This hand seems fantastic, and I don't actually understand how we could lose with it. Cruel Sadist again, you got it. Another red, and we can just play this guy on turn 5 as a 5-4 haste. It seems good. <sighs> Guys, place all your units. we got 44 seconds left. 63 allies? Dang, we're looking legit. Don't block. Just take just take it. You got it. Oh, wow, what? Oh, because it, it gets a counter when it blocks, too. Sure. That's actually totally fine. So they drew a card. We got a creature. Both of us netted some amount of value from those from our three drops. From our Shadow more three drops. Don't have a way to kill my hero. They always have a way. This is the way. 
You guys remember that meme? This is the way. I said it again just in case you guys didn't didn't remember. I'm gonna save your life. I need a hero. Four mana. Soren. Get back dusk urchins. It's not actually that great because Shatter Skull Charger and Hero will both have four power. Toughness, rather. Four toughness. Four toughness. Stop drawing lands, bro. Uh, attack your face, attack your face, attack your face. This seems good. Is that from the short circuit soundtrack? I mean, Probably? I could definitely see that being the case. I mean, I feel like our board is very good. Next turn we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 17 damage. And they don't have double black, which is what I'm worried about because we did see Murderous Rider. In <laughs> before damnation. Well, no double black still, so. Fine, Wrath of God then. I actually don't know what sweepers are in this cube. Atraxa. Proliferate does nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they have uh, the Awakened one? Hmm. So if we attack with everyone, if they block here, that's pretty brutal, actually. They take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, they actually die. So they can't really do that. Yeah, they actually have to block Shatter Skull Charger, which is fine. Lifelink, they go to 14, so. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, otherwise, they take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And they gain 4 and block here, and they die. Yep, that is their only option. Oh, it has trample too. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They go to 1 here. Sure. Not even going to play Valkyrie because they just don't need to. And if they do have, like, Wrath of God. One time I double blocked that hero and put it under my Mimic Vat. Now on my turn I played Parallel Lives and swung for many damages. That sounds like a lot of damages. We have also, we have 15 minutes on our clock. They have 4 minutes on their clock, so. No, Blast Time can't tokens because it comes into play with a counter. So the minimum you can do is like cards that cost 1.
my hand has all double black. Yeah, that's what that was. That's what I was thinking. Like I literally felt like it was murderous rider up in here. And ruinous path, similar. Double black, double black, double. Yeah, that's rough, dude. Why are you playing two colorless lands in your Atraxa deck? That's so greedy. Like, double black, double black, double black, double black, but you're playing like Crawling Barons and Blast Zone. That's no good. Neil, we didn't win a game. We won a match. Oh, hold on. Round two, fight. Okay. This actually seems pretty good. Um, I think we just go to Endless One. Everything else does, like, everything else is real good. We can go Kintry and Tabs and Falconer into Ordeal. Love and Crafty. Have a good night, buddy. Well, we both went to six, so that's that's okay. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Wow, two blue black decks in a row. Whenever I do drafts, I seem to be drafting, I seem to be playing against the same archetypes over and over. Seems good. Get thrumming. That's fascinating. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. What up, Enzi? Yeah, get your get your loot on. You'll be dead soon. Nah, they probably got us. Oh, excuse me. interesting hmm 
Only 12 allies? Come on, we can do better than that. I guess we got 25 minutes still. So. You got it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get to put them to one with reinforcements. Oh boy. Hmm. Both of these guys flying is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you can draw cards if you want. You can leave those cards behind. I mean, heroic reinforcements is going to be a pretty solid sneaky next turn because it gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures. Two, three, four, they have five mana. Like, even if they kill Hero of Bladehold, they still have two blockers, and we have at least two flyers. Plus, we're going to trigger Ordeal of Perforos, and I don't think they can get rid of Hero and Abzan Falconer. That's my... Am yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> that. That does not do anything. Not even looking. Yep. Yeah, this game. <laughs> this is the concession. Yep. All right, cool. Good grief. Oh, Baldridge just placed an epic closed, closed beta warrior. What is that? Closed Beta Warrior sounds hilarious. Well, let's just call it a Closed Beta Warrior. Okay. Three games on in the one draft. Killing with the bookies here. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have bet against me, Neil. Did you ever think about that? Oh, I think he three games won in the one draft. I gotcha. I got you. Have we seen any of your five drops yet? I have yet to draw any of these three in three games. I think I draw. Did I draw Venerated Loxon at any point? I don't. Maybe I mulliganed him once. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, his hand's actually really bad. This hand's worse. Let's go to five. Okay. Seems absolutely terrible, but we are on the draw. That's what we got to tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better. I mean, based on this, we should have just kept the first hand. Would have had three more cards. Two more cards, I guess. This is, a, this is an X spell? Wow. 
Walking ballista for one. It's your boy. I'll trade a walking ballista for a Kithian if that's what you want to do. It's pretty good. It's no longer a trait now. Insta shoot. Just do it. Just shoot him. There you go. Good job. You know, I'm going to be honest, I feel like Endless One should have reach if it hits a certain power and toughness. I'm actually gonna get in there. I don't think we're gonna block because if they have one creature that's bigger than a two three, then they then they have a three four and we can't actually block it, so I might as well get in there. Plus we can just recoup some of that life with face fetters anyway, so Okay, well that seems fine. Just attack for seven here. Play a crack back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If they put a counter on Ballista and shoot us, that doesn't seem good. So, second like creature, put two counters on Flesh Carver. When it dies, create an XX where X is its power. Card's good. At the very least, it's a 2 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, now we're just now we're just beating face. Big chomping. One area you need to prove in your magic playing is drawing lands. I've watched you for a while now, and without intending to be too harsh, you suck at drawing the lands when you need them. You draw them when you don't need them, but never when you do. I hope this constructive feedback is of use. 
I think it was helpful, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just trade for the Cloudfin Raptor. This creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, put a one on counter on it. Other creatures have dethrone. That's fucking ridiculous. Wow. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Yep, that's not going to do it. Wow. I mean, we did mold of five there. Got stuck on three lands, so I don't know. How much time we got left? 14 minutes? Seems good. For Stream Raiders, not for Magic. Which you can see in the upper left hand corner. I will play first. No red, no third or fourth land. Hmm. This is pretty rough. Like, we're just going to need to draw lands. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I mean, I'm just going to keep it. Get rid of five drop. Yeah, it seems fine, I guess. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. I mean, if I could draw land, land, I'm actually pretty okay with this. Sub is a sub is a sailor. Yeah, like glint and S cream. More like shit and S cream. Do they have enough artifacts that makes it even worth it? No. Okay, so just a generic 1-3. It's not exciting at all. Got it. Come on, land, please. One time. Keep me in the game. Land me. <sighs> Fucking God, Jesus. So stupid. Yep, 3-3 three, three would have been great. Makes this a 3-3. Three, three. We can swing past their glint. And uh, next turn we have Shatter Skull Charger at the very least. That's so stupid, dude. I rest my case. Yeah, well. Maybe you should have mulled to five and hoped you kept three lands and two spells. Sure. And cool. Yep, just not even going to play it out, because it's just not fucking fun. It's, like, absolutely miserable. Magic's resource system is absolute trash. Did you want to play Magic, or you just want to watch your opponent bash your fucking face in because you can't draw resources? Well, the second one sounds more fun. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, it's about two thirty in the in the morning. <sighs> yep. 
you know what? Sure. The more you mulligan, the more you can improve your hands. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, you can have the best three card hand there is. See, that was a good draw. Ooh, Medomize Prophecy. She uses Whirler Rogue. Okay. A little nighty boy. A New Zealander. You crazy New Zealanders. So they can just go block with these two. Hmm. I feel like that's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, I mean, like, yeah, this is fine, but I mean, like, I have four mana, and you didn't prepare for a trick. It's kind of weird. Are we going to draw Storm Breath Dragon? Because that'd be kind of cool. This is the second time I've played against Kazmina. Might as well attack Kazmina here. Sure. She goes to one, so you can't actually use her, which is fine. And you still get to keep two creatures for Bazaar Solidarity and Incendiary Flow. Moo Yanling.
two, three, one, two. Ugh, it's cost two more. It's cost four, right? Oh, that's brutal. Um, I'm just gonna kill this guy then. Oh, can't do that either. Still cost four. Okay, well that was not the best play, but I guess they do have to sacrifice the Muyanling if they want to make a four-four. <laughs> the white. I can definitely hear you. So. I was a little distracted at the time, but yeah, I can hear you. How many counter spells are in this fucking cube, man? Come on. Yeah, I can actually. Yeah, I can definitely hear you guys. <laughs> oh, dang it, Neil. We we're so close. Cindyary flow costs four. Ordeal of Perforus does not. Although it is a sorcery. They can also pump this guy because they have Vivid Crag. Creek. Creek, Crag, whatever. Doesn't matter. We can Basri Solidary make this a 4-4. Four, four. Ordeal makes it a 5-5. Five, five. We can shoot a thing. Then they can just block with this guy give a death touch. Yeah, I think we're just dead this game. There's just too much going on on their side of the board, and clearly this is really hard to deal with. So, yep. Yeah, I don't know. I think our deck's good, but I clearly have no idea what a good deck looks like in this format, so, you know, my bad. Uh oh, battle's ready. 68? Oh man, we're gonna crush. This hand seems good. We need another white source, but Topan Freeblade is. Thank you! Antibody with six more gifted subs, buddy? Oh my goodness. 
This is Antibodies Month. Thank you. Dude, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. You are killing it. Thank you. Ancestral vision? What? What is that doing in here? Thank you. I kind of just want to kill that thing, to be honest with you. But next turn, I think we just play Charger here. No, it's a 2-3, so we actually have to... Thank you. What does Renown say? If it isn't Renown, put a 1-1 counter on it, it becomes Renowned. So it still gets Renowned, right? Did you know that when it snows, your lands become snow, and the mana that they tap for becomes snow? I did not know that. Oh, I'm listening to this chicken from a rose clip. Now you're gonna give me a land and a solemn? Baby. Baby. Baby, like a chicken from a rose in the box on a grave. <laughs> you didn't like that? I, I, I really loved it. Now you're gonna give me. You don't like that? <laughs> no, man, I love it. It was beautiful. Thoughtsies. Shoot. Do 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 They're gonna Thoughtsies land repeal this guy? No, they can't. They play the land. They can't do that. They can't do that. Oh, they took my Shatter Skull Champ Charger. Champion Charger. Cheddar Cheese Chicken Charger. Cool. Super swell. Thank you. Tempest Blue, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I kind of just want to kill this thing. Yeah, it's probably just better to get this guy back down, I guess. cool <laughs> super cool they just have everything it's really fantastic to watch yep here we go oh look cool cool coolsville coolsville daddy -o. just the coolest <laughs> jesus This feels better than just making an irrelevant 3-3. Three, three. I think we're just dead this game. I mean, it has to deal combat damage when this creature does combat damage to a player, sure. <laughs> oh, endless one. God, I felt like we were so... I felt like this was the deck, right? But then, like, again, it's turn five and we missed two land drops because Magic's resource system is fucking trash, so... What can you do? What can you do but sit here and, you know, not play magic, I guess. Yep, seems good. 
cool super cool uh can't play any of these guess i'll play this guy because you know it's the only spell that's castable but you know that's normal that's a normal game of magic where you get to watch your opponent play the game and you don't get to do that so <clears throat> so what are you gonna do so record so far one two oh three one two pretty solid i think i'm getting the hang of this format <laughs> pretty <laughs> luckily on this one is always castable uh just like the modern cube previously i'm not sure how many cubes i'm gonna do of this i did end up getting the hang of modern cube and enjoying it but this is a different animal where the cards have shockingly different power levels hmm they have two mana so i can actually perforos on this guy makes a four and they just block and kill it huh hmm. that's the thing isn't it Send both in moo moo mooey moo moo moo. We could have locks it on, but I don't like not having more things for this board. Um, I don't want to not put something on the board or get rid of some of their things because if we just locks it on like when they have Mui Anling, Minimize Prophecy, Treasure Treasure Cove, and Knight that can attack next turn feels pretty bad. I also don't think we're like coming back this game by any means but <laughs> I mean they can make two four four flyers they're going to probably draw two next turn and they have a treasure map so You know, how many people are in this? This is there's like twenty five people in this in this in this battle. That's insane. This is okay. Yep, still no land. This is amazing. Eight turns and we've missed five fucking land drops. Like, why why bother playing? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, it's so fucking frustrating. Thank you guys for watching, though. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm sure I'll see you next time, maybe. Oh, God. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you.